Today we're going to be talking about Fusion Team. A lot of you have been asked by Autodesk to switch to this, but you might be forgiven for not exactly knowing what this even is. If you look on the website, this is what you see. It's not very descriptive and it doesn't really explain a whole lot. So I'm going to compare this to the current situation and let you know what it's all about. Up until now, all hubs have defaulted to be personal hubs. That means that data is your data and you take it with you. You control access to it. But imagine what would happen if you got hit by a truck or maybe you left your company. Your company wouldn't want you to be able to take that data with you. And fundamentally, that's the difference between a personal hub and a team hub that you see here on the left. A team hub is controlled by an entity, generally a company, but could be a club or something like this. And that company can control access to that data, meaning that no one particular person has total control of that data, unless you might consider the IT administrator. Fundamentally, this is the difference between personal hubs and team hubs. First, let's take a look at a personal hub. This is what most of you already use and know in Fusion. You can see inside of Fusion, I have all my different projects. One here is a bathroom renovation. That's a typical use for a personal hub because Autodesk doesn't care about my bathroom renovation. I can look at the data, I can control who accesses it. And if I click up here, you can even see in the web browser, which is an alternative view, of the same data, all that data is there. I have the ability to look at preview data, versioning, and I can also do redlining and viewing. If you look into the settings here, as we go forward, you'll notice there's not much to do. I can have all the various different hubs that I'm a part of, and you can see that I'm part of several, and I can look at my settings and the only thing you can see is who I, grant, I have granted access to my personal hubs. And I can kick them out if I like, that's fine. Let's compare this now to what it looks like inside of a team hub. Now I have a team hub called the Fusion 360 Evangelists. That's the hub I use for work. And you can see here, it has a different name. And there are projects in here just like the other ones. They're not the same projects, if you look closely, my bathroom renovation isn't in there because that's mine. It doesn't belong to Autodesk. But there is a project I did a long time ago with some eyeglasses. Now, the data is just the same. In the same way, I can control access to who's part of that project and we can collaborate. It doesn't matter if you're inside or even outside of Autodesk. That works just fine. If I go into the web browser view, the same data is there. There's nothing new here. Really, it's still the same used as drawings, viewing, redlining, and the like. But if you go in here, you can see that I have new admin characteristics. I am an admin for this team hub. Not everyone will be. But as an admin, I have the ability to grant access, even automatic access, to people of a certain email domain. In my particular case, autodesk.com. I've decided not to let everyone join, but that is an option if you'd like it. In addition, I can see everyone who's part of this hub, and if I want, I can kick them out. If any of these people stopped working for Autodesk, or perhaps our relationship soured, or something like this, I could kick them out of my hub and they would no longer have access. I also have complete control over all the projects involved in this hub. I can archive them, I can even transfer them to another hub, to another owner in case my company is no longer working on it. Autodesk will certainly add functions and features to this area as time goes on, but at its core, that's what it's about. Good luck.